So we've all seen the hit. We've all seen the suspension. Um, <clears throat> there's no point in making a video talking about the amount of games and stuff. But the reaction from everybody across the league is kind of concerning in this situation because there's this... Hmm. I guess we've got to think about this in a different aspect of why do people that are strongly biased to one team that are strongly <clears throat> swayed by a logo on a jersey, why does all common sense go out the window? What happened? Why what, what, why is there so much offense to when somebody that's on your team does something wrong that you can't just admit? Why is that so offensive for them to take responsibility and or to be punished for the thing that they did wrong? Right? So I get up and shit happens, right? Ovechkin. Oh, he must have deleted the tweet. <clears throat> he basically... Maybe it was fake, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But I saw this thread on my on my uh, Twitter that Ovechkin basically called it a bullshit suspension. And I, I don't... I, 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 like, what am I... Somebody that's doesn't really support a team like my father got me this jersey because he knows that I love good hockey players right and I will always keep this jersey because my father passed away a few years ago and so but like this pisses me off owning this and then having OV say something like that you would never see Crosby come out and defend his teammate when they clearly and blatantly hit somebody in the head and we're gonna talk about that head hit I don't care about the amount of games, blah, 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 blah. We're going to talk about the hit in itself because how do you sit there and not... How do you sit there... How do you sit there yeah. and, and flat out deny that incident? How do you sit there and flat out just be like, no, that wasn't a hit to the head? And this whole principal contact thing I don't get that what you so you're saying if somebody gets if there's a fight going on and somebody slides their fist across their cheek and it goes up and it breaks their nose you're gonna say their nose isn't broken because they hit their cheek first now he can't have a broken nose he hit his cheek first it can't be a head hit he hit him in the shoulder first what? What? When the it so it doesn't matter where the blunt of the force is, the brunt of the force. It doesn't matter where the main impact happens. It just matters what body part touched what body part first. Just like the Nathan McKinnon hit a couple days ago. Uh, is a shoulder hit? Because he touched the shoulder first, the principal point of contact. Fucking bullshit. That little, that little statement, that little quote, that little definition is fucking stupid. That is beyond stupid. <clears throat> I, I can't, I, I don't, I don't know. There's time for that. Let's see. Let's watch. Let's. Him, his glove. Here comes Wilson. He's not skating. Joe. Be fucked. Let's watch this together, shall we? <clears throat> and I know you've all seen it, so I'm like, I'm like, what am I, what am I even, what are we even looking at for here? Let's slow this down just a smidge. 
Oops. Let's slow it down to the slowest possible speed. Is the hit on Carlo? Here comes Wilson. He's not skinny. Hey, I don't know what you call that. What do you? What do you? What is? What? What? What is that? What? Like I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't. How do you how do you sit there and how do you how do you say that that's not a head hit? How do you sit there? And then like the the refs the refs calling it boarding and not calling a penalty. Like people you congrats you gave the idiots ammo. You gave the idiots ammo by not calling it a boarding penalty. The refs fucked up and in turn created all of this bullshit. You call that a boarding penalty? After you don't give him a boarding penalty? I, 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 you don't give him a penalty, and the, I, I don't, I don't under, I don't... What the fuck? That is a fucking hit to the head. Where's this boarding coming from? Like, what? What? Boarding is when a guy is standing one to two to three feet away from the boards in a, vul a vulnerable position and you hit him from behind, from an angle, from a behind, like, this is, this is a flat out hit to the head. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the denial. I don't understand why people are in, what, what the, what, what does denying this penalty do? Who, who are you protecting here? The guy's in the hospital with a concussion. And it wasn't a hit to the head? You can get a concussion from a shoulder to shoulder hit? Maybe if you're like Usain Bolt hitting a four year old and their body flies around five times in the fucking air and yeah, their brain rattles a bit. But I don't, I don't, I don't understand the, 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 the mindset behind this and then people saying that it's not a suspension is not okay. Like, and then you get people saying, oh, you're soft, bro. You're soft, bro. The game's getting soft, bro. They're trying to remove heading from the game, bro. Bro. Don't you know they're trying to remove heading from the game? Like, bitch fucking please. Like, bitch fucking please. They put out a hitting fucking reel every month of the best hits. Nobody's trying to remove hitting from the game. They're trying to remove stupidity. They're trying to remove idiocy. They're trying to remove danger. They're trying to have their best players be their best players for as long as possible. Why do you think LeBron gets every single fucking call that he can possibly get? It's because he's the best in the league at the moment. The guy is a six foot six crybaby that the refs bend over backwards for because he's the most beloved player, right? And I think that's bullshit. First of all, just on a second note, Pete, I saw I saw Carlo Koliakovo. You fucking loser! You played in the NHL for how fucking long? And you're like, if this was Sidney Crosby, how would this be handled? It's like, what is, what does that have to do with anything? You treat every player equally, and then that's when there's going to be issues when you start having players of lesser value what because their contract is 1.25 million dollars a year their the suspension should be less or more because of the like hello are you down are you dumb like did you take too many pucks to the face in your fucking nhl career like i can't i can't comprehend how an nhl player like there's like mike commodore there's certain guys that just have hockey twitter that just were like did you just make it because you know how to pass a puck and skate decently fast like, is there no fucking brain? Like, is there, like, hello? Is there, is there anything in here? Like, uh, hello? Like, dude, you played in a time when shit like this was acceptable and nobody and players were getting injured left and right and the career of a hockey player was five years fucking less. Like, this shit is annoying that people are so defending this. Right? Like, you, you have to... I, and that's the thing that it's, I don't know if I will ever, ever be able to understand how people let bias of a team stand in the way of common sense. I don't understand that. 
The guy smushed him with both of his fucking forearms against the glass. He smushed his head through the glass. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the principal contact is the shoulder. It doesn't matter. He followed through and finished with his arms. Like, how do you, like, do, do majority of hockey fans not have eyes? Is there some sort of weird fucking, like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, like, and so I, I just, I need to make a video on the reaction of this suspension and how people are just dumbfounded. Right, when he steps on the ice to face the New York Rangers on March 20th, Wilson will, will have been suspended a total of 30 regular season games and have been fined in excess of $1.2 million. $1.2 million. For being a dumbass. For not... For, for just... What, what, like, why hasn't Reeves been suspended left and right? And why doesn't Reeves get in these horrible incidences? Everybody loves to put them on the same pedestal, but we know Reeves is far superior. Reeves kicks the living shit out of Wilson every time, and Wilson fears the living fuck out of Reeves, and it's great. But why does he, like, you know, how does he have the mental capacity to understand when to let up, when to not let up, so on and so forth. Why doesn't Wilson have that? What, what, you know what I mean? The guy helped you win a cup for one, like, he, <laughs> that's kind of the, the interesting part about hockey is guys like Wilson matter in the playoffs. And I can't sit here and say, I don't want guys like Wilson in the playoffs because I would just be contradicting every single inch of my body. <clears throat> I want tough, rough hockey, but I want common sense hockey. I want something shitty to happen on the ice and the fan base be like, yeah, that was shitty. Can we all agree that was shitty? And just move on. Like you got people still defending Bertuzzi. Todd Bertuzzi to this day. Yeah, well, you know what he did before. Who gives a shit what he did beforehand? Like, yeah. Anyways, I don't, this is... This is the weird part about being a sports fan is you just, you have to deal with people that are just blinded by bias. And it is a weird, weird, weird world to live in when you don't have a team that you fully support through and through to the core. Like, it's so weird just being on the outside looking in of this whole fan base thing and just being like, what are you, what are you defending that for, Ovi? And now I'm just repeating myself, but yeah, 30 games suspended, $1.2 million total in his career. I don't know. The league doesn't need players like this. Like, they don't need to exist. You can have hard hitters that aren't dirty. It's not hard. Like, it's not... How, how, how come 99.9% .9 of the other players can play the game without being dirty and still be rough and tough and have a good time? Like, if, I, don't, I don't know. What is it? It was 50 games at $5 million before players booted from the league? Like, frankly, I don't care if he is or if he isn't, but, like, when where's the line between a player just no longer being acceptable on the ice? How many concussions, how many injuries, how many games lost? Does this have to be 200 games lost that he has to cause? Does Crosby need to sit out for 14 total games because he slew-footed him? And I don't know, like, what what needs to happen for a player to actually be booted from the league? That's another question that I would love to have answered. Because we don't know. Assault charges, maybe? Todd Bertuzzi did the exact... Todd Bertuzzi nearly paralyzed the guy, and he still played again. Maybe there isn't. Maybe somebody like actually have to die on the ice, and that's kind of like really dramatic for me to say. But I'm just kind of like, when does it stop? Like, like, and I love hitting. I love playoff hockey. I wish, like, I wish it was play. Like, that's the that's the thing. When you're a person like me that genuinely loves the physical part of the game and just. Players like Matthews that were averaging one hit every three games. It 
fucking angers me to the core as a diehard hockey fan. Seeing stats like that, when a team only has 10 to 20 hits a game, what are you doing when you have 20 players on the ice? Each player hits somebody once? When you have 15 minutes of ice time, you hit somebody once? Anyways, I'm getting off track here, I'm getting off track. Anyway, I love hitting, but this shit needs to stop. Repeat offenders and injuries that could, like Carlo Koliakovo could never play again, have severe brain damage and end up killing his fucking wife. Like Chris Benoit. Like, play, people don't understand what the head trauma is. They laugh, they laugh at CTE because they don't get it. That Will Smith movie is just a fucking meme for anybody that is, a, who's a, I'm a frat boy and I played college football and I drank beer. And <laughs> you know, like, this shit ain't a joke, man. So I would rather see Tom Wilson full on smash somebody in the fucking ankle with his stick. Just full on fucking chop. Because that can be injured, and in three years, that guy could be back on the ice full force, and his brain will be fine. He might be a little bit depressed because he missed some time in hockey. He might have lost a wife. He might have blah, blah, blah. But he'll be fine up here. He won't be killing himself, or he won't be causing issues, or he won't be being a task and a hassle for his family in years to come because he has fucking brain damage. Let's be better.